Mwah, 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 mwah. Woohoo! Hello! Happy Friday, my fam. It is Perez. It's going to be a good show tonight because I just made myself a coffee. And as you could see by the title of this video, Jennifer Lopez Disaster. This is gonna be a real juicy video. Let me pour my syrup in here. I'm gonna ice it, because I don't want hot coffee. Amenti, I have not uh, switched it to, to member mode. I have to do that. Uh, can I do that from here? I don't think so. Um, so you've got, a, you've got a, a, a minute or two that anybody can comment. Hey, Queen J. Ray, mwah. I just finished making my coffee so that I could have a real good show with you all. Ugh. Jen, I'm just gonna, I said I'm gonna just call you Queen J. Ray because I don't, I'm not gonna remember Jen. <laughs> But I'll try. Hey, Shane. Hey, Meredith. I'm going to get to it all. But my mom is giving me the stank eye. She wants me to open and put away this box. I bought myself some syrups for my coffee. This is my favorite brand. I bought a different brand recently, and it sucks. This one, though... They are the bomb. They're called Jordan's Skinny Syrups. Not a paid plug. They're just that good. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Y de, mía, ¿me puedes poner esto abajo del de fregadero? Gracias. A ver. Eso, yo lo pongo. Hold on, y'all. I got it. Ok. All right. Let's do this. I woke up this morning to the wonderful sight of Katy Perry at Taylor Swift's Eras Tour concert in Sydney, Australia. Did you guys catch that? It made me so happy. I believe in peace. I believe in peace. I believe, I believe, I believe in peace. As some of you might remember, Taylor Swift wrote Bad Blood about Katy Perry. Why? Well, when they were both young ladies, there was some professional drama between the two former friends. Okay. How do you get like iced coffee to be perfectly, I need like a larger, a larger coffee mug. Apagame la luz del laundry room, por favor. Ah, okay. Okay. Swish, swish, bish. Another one in the basket. Okay. Uh, I apologize for the first couple of minutes of sloppiness, but you know what? It's real life. Okay. Here we go. Let me get my laptop because I've got some visual things to show y'all this evening or afternoon if you're in the West Coast. <clears throat> and yes, I've got to switch the comments to members only. Oh, a Stanley. 
That's a good idea. I don't like those cups for my water, but for coffee, that's a good idea. Uh, I'm gonna switch the chat to members only because your boy is hustling hard, trying to, uh, committing to lives. I'm going live every freaking day, every weekday, Monday through Friday on YouTube. So if you wanna join the chat, please consider supporting and becoming a member. It helps. And I get it. Not everybody has $4.99 or you don't think I'm worth it or whatever it is. That's fine. But if you uh, can help, then I would love that. Uh, you're, you know, uh, a lot of creators are doing memberships on YouTube. And I'm hustling, baby. Working hard at this. All right. Members only chat. I think my queen, J. Ray, Jen, is the uh, only member here. But all members can watch the replay if they're not able to watch live. So let's continue talking Taylor Swift and Katy Perry. Um, what happened back in the day, if you don't remember, was... Katy Perry hired some of, well, it's only $4.99, Queen J, right? Uh, back in the day, like what year was it? 2014, I'm guessing, around then, uh, Katy Perry hired some of Taylor Swift's dancers that were on tour with Taylor Swift. And, Taylor did not like that. She felt betrayed by her friend, Katy Perry, and betrayed by her dancers that were on tour with her. And Taylor was very popular then. Let me turn the light on, because I don't know, I feel like I'm a little dark. <clears throat> That's better. I might. I might put on my ring light even. Uh, or is this, let me see here. Ah, there we go. It was just my, my camera brightness was down. I'm thankful they had a falling out because I love bad blood. So at least something positive came out of it. And um, they made peace a few years ago. Some of you might remember that Katy Perry literally sent Taylor Swift an olive branch, like an actual olive branch, which I think was very sweet. And Taylor accepted it and they made, they made up. They didn't really rekindle their friendship. They just made peace and that's fine. You know, I would love to make peace with Lady Gaga. Some of you might remember Hi, Ryan. Thank you for joining, my fram. Some of you might remember that back in the day, Lady Gaga and I were friends. Good friends, I thought. And then we had a falling out. And um, I have reached out to her several times over the last many years. And she's not reciprocated. Uh, she's ghosted me. It is not open to any kind of conversation. And I don't want to be her friend, okay? I still carry with me hurt um, over how she treated me. But I've let go. I forgive. I forget even. But I don't want to be, I don't need to be her friend. I don't want to be her friend. I just want to clear the air. I just want to hug. I want to hug and let go. And... She doesn't care or need or want that, I guess. Um, yeah, I just want to, I, I, I still feel hurt, but I have a lot more empathy, understanding, and compassion for what Lady Gaga was going through at the time, dealing with substance abuse and fame of that magnitude. It's not easy. And she took it out on me and she took it out on a lot of other people. And it's okay, you know, like she was young and made mistakes and I forgive her. And I made mistakes as well, but she 
treated me worse. <laughs> Anyways, um, Katie was in Australia this week because she's doing a private gig. Some billionaire hired her to perform in Melbourne and she flew into Sydney and saw that Taylor had a show there probably, you know, beforehand and said, oh, I got, I got to go see Taylor in concert. And I, Katie's probably getting millions of dollars like three million I would guess her fee is four million I don't think she's worth more than four million dollars for a private gig you know if she were to do a con you, you kind of also base it on how much money would an artist make selling out like the largest venue that they could sell out so um you know, I would guess if Katy Perry played in arena, she would probably make, oh, Queen J. Ray. I don't know why it's vertical. I'm on my phone, but, oh yeah, I'm on my phone. It's vertical. Yeah. The videos are vertical now. Um, anyways, um, uh, was I saying, oh yeah, Katy Perry probably makes, if she were to sell out an arena and I'd have to guess like what she would charge for ticket prices, I would guess that Katy would probably make a million dollars. So for her to make three million or four million for a private gig, that's a good gig. And they would also have to pay for all the expenses, you know, um, her dancers, her band, hair, makeup, styling, bodyguards, private plane. That's all separate. That's probably another million dollars. So probably to get Katy Perry, it's four to five million dollars. But, you know, if you're a billionaire, that's pennies. Pennies. I saw this video of this ventriloquist recently that obviously, you know, saying the P word is the hardest anything, any word with P, not the P word, but any word with P in it is the hardest to say as a ventriloquist. So, um, problem, 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 okay. <laughs> you try it. Hey, Kiki, how are you? So happy to see you here. If you are just joining the live stream, welcome. I'm Perez Hilton, queen of all media, the original influencer and pop culture expert, blogger, podcaster, author, father, queen, I appreciate Queen J. Ray and Kiki Ray for being members of my YouTube channel. That comes with a special badge and the ability to comment on my daily live streams. I go live on YouTube every Monday through Friday, every weekday, at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. And you can also enjoy the replay if you can't tune in live. So please consider joining my membership on my YouTube channel. It's $4.99 for the month and your support really helps this channel. It really helps me. I'm taking this seriously and working hard at it, okay? Wait, we've been college friends? Oh, oh. I'm like, wait, I went to college much young, much earlier than that. Anyways. Let's get to the subject of this video. The, or, or, you know, we're talking many things, but the headline is Jennifer Lopez disaster. Oh, oh, Queen J. Ray gifted five people memberships to my channel. Oh, thank you, Queen J. Ray. That's so kind. Thank you so much, Queen J. Ray. And thank you, Kiki. Even though you got a free membership, you 
are spending your time with me. Your time is money. Your time is valuable. So I appreciate your presence here, Kiki Ray. Wait, I'm confused. Is Kiki... Did Queen J. Ray gift Kiki a membership or no? I'm so confused. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm so happy you're all here. <laughs> all right, Jennifer Lopez, y'all. Y'all. Oh my God, you guys. I'm shocked. I am almost at a loss for words, but disaster is a good one. I predicted... On my podcast, if you're not listening, you should be, perezpodcast.com. I predicted that Jennifer Lopez's new album, This Is Me Now, would not debut well. I thought it would debut, you know, number 11, number 12, just missing the top 10. You have no freaking idea how off I was. You have no idea how poorly the J-Lo album is selling or streaming or both. According to Hits Daily Double, which is an industry trade publication, they just released projections for the top 100 albums in the U.S., J-Lo did not debut in the top 10, nor the top 15, not even the top 20, even missing the top 25. According to Hits Daily Double, J-Lo's new album is coming in at number 28. Number 28. 28! That's a disaster. That's embarrassing. Embarrassing because she did so much press and people couldn't even be bothered to stream it for free. We live in a streaming age now. If people were curious enough to stream it for free, you have a Spotify or Apple Music account. You, you can listen to it without paying for it. I, I'm one of those people. I didn't even stream it for free. I wasn't even interested enough to listen to it. And I love J-Lo, but I'm like, uh, 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 I don't care. Number 28. She did so much press. She performed on Saturday Night Live. She did the morning shows. She did a big special for Apple TV. And is coming in at number 28. Number 28! Ooh, rough. This should be J-Lo's last album. Focus on singles from now on and make sure that they're hits. Like, albums that have been out for forever did better than J-Lo. Like, the Olivia Rodrigo album. Uh, like, people that I don't even freaking know who they are. Like, Fuerza Regida. Who the hell is Fuerza Regida? They, they did better than J-Lo. Like, that's embarrassing. Has Been Hotel. Who the hell is Has Been Hotel? Or is that a movie soundtrack? I don't know, but they sold better than J-Lo. How embarrassing. And I have, I'm so old. I'm old now. I'm turning 46 next month. I have no idea who the number one artist is. Number one, and I don't even know who they are. Yeet is their name, his name, her, her name, his name, Yeet. Y-E-A-T, Yeet. Who the hell is Yeet? Let's see, Yeet. A guy. Noah Oliver Smith, known professionally as Yeet, is an American rapper, singer-songwriter, and record producer. He's known for his experimental sound, 
unique lingo, and unconventional fashion sense. He... Oh. He's white-ish. <laughs> he was born to a Romanian father and a Mexican... He was born to a Romanian mother. Oh, no. Not even. He was born to a Romanian mother and an American father of British and Mexican descent. His paternal grandmother is Mexican and from the city of Tijuana, while his grandfather is British American, blah, 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 blah. Congrats. Oh, he's like a viral per. He went viral on social media. He uh, cool. Good on him. Congrats. Queen J Ray and Ryan and Kiki in the house and a lot of other people. Thank you everybody for watching the live stream. Hopefully one of these days if you keep watching, you'll become a member and you'll join my channel and support that way. But if not watching, that is a great support. So, thank you. We still got a lot of stuff to get to today. Boo yeah, boo yeah. Okay. Queen J Ray, what? Jen, holy guacamole. Holy moly. Wait, let me take a screen grab. I've got to share that on the community tab here on YouTube because that is so generous and kind. Bless you. Bless you. I'm so glad that we are reconnecting and that, and, and then we're doing this live. You know, you can ask me anything. Tell me to shut up at any time, okay? Um, Kendall Jenner and Devin Booker are back together weeks after she and Bad Bunny called it quits. And apparently it's pretty serious pretty quickly. He's a basketball player, had a game this uh, week in Dallas. He plays for the Suns in Phoenix. And Kendall Jenner went to Texas to be with him. Mazel. Kudos. Also, speaking of athletes, Travis was at Taylor's concert that Katy Perry was at, handing out uh, friendship bracelets. That was really sweet. Also, I can't play it because I don't want to get this video flagged, but... Miley Cyrus released a snippet of a new song that she has coming out soon with Pharrell called Doctor, and it's a bop. Oh my God, it sounds so good. Can't wait to hear the full finished version. All right, um, finally, this is our safe space. I want to be delicate about how um, I talk about this. You can troll in a harmless way. I trolled Farah Abram about an hour ago. She posted a video on social that was shocking to me. You know, Farrah Abram from Teen Mom? Oh my God. This is the video that she posted. Is now 15, and I remember like yesterday when I was 15. I'm so proud that Sophia has some a good top five. She has self-awareness. She has self-taught herself. She's reparented herself. All right, I've heard enough, but I know we're not supposed, listen. Do whatever makes you happy. I am just Queen J Ray. Ah! Look at look at look at that. It looks like she's having a really bad allergic reaction. 
it, I mean, you know, ignore the crazy amounts of Botox or Dysport or whatever she's taking. Like there is not a single wrinkle in her forehead or anywhere. It's sad because her nose looks deformed. Like it looks like she had another nose job and there's like an indentation there that's not supposed to be there. They botched her nose job and she's literally drinking filler for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like her filler is really working. So, you know, we're not supposed to comment on people's bodies. So this is what I commented instead. That necklace is beautiful. <laughs> That's what we call a harmless troll. I did not comment on her appearance. I just said that necklace is beautiful. And she also shared this other video earlier today that was disturbing. Her 15 year old daughter went to go get a lip piercing and a lower back piercing, a dermal piercing. Listen, it's not my kid, but I'm not letting my 15 year olds get a tongue piercing or a dermal piercing or whatever. Like you're 15. And she already had a bunch of piercings too. But hey, not my kid and not my face. Oh my God, almost 90 people watching today. I think that is a record since I've returned to live streaming. I appreciate every single person watching live. I go live on YouTube every Monday through Friday. I'm taking this seriously and want to grow it. Uh, I have the chat for members only because that's a great way to reward those that really show up and show out and support. Uh, if you want to consider joining my membership on my YouTube channel, it's $4.99 for the month. I know not everybody can. It's a, it's a Frappuccino, uh, if you can. So uh, please consider becoming a member. And I appreciate my Queen J. Ray so much. I will see you guys Monday at 7.30 p.m. Same bat time, same bat channel. Have a wonderful weekend. A big hug to you all. Mwah. Bye.